What's up gamers, my name is Jax Foxer and welcome back to part 2 of the tarot readings. Um, this is my episode and um, Caitlin is still included in this, she is my lovely reader. And um, I'm really sorry to have to flick this around so much, it's a real pain in the ass. But I have to do what I have to do, so thank you guys. Mutes just don't talk! I don't want to be a mute. I'm basically and it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just you want to be special. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> what the fuck's a barrel roll? Yeah, I just asked that. Oh my gosh. No, I just made you. Nice. I hate my life. This is the second time. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, talking about tarot cards. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I was talking about? Read me, bitch. Okay, so same as mine. Past is. Okay, go. This is your past. It is the awakening. Archangel Gabriel. Ha! <laughs> Gabriel! Sorry, I've just got supernatural. And this is your present. The King of Air. The cards are quite pretty. And your future is the Two of Air. With some nice unicorns on the front. We'll do your past first, which is the Awakening for Archangel Gabriel. Look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Okay, so that one. <sighs> Fucking love of words. Um, okay, so in my past, it has been time to review my plans according to this card. And look at things from a new perspective. Ask yourself, is it possible that a different approach would work better? Although it may feel like events have come to a standstill, this is temporary. So make use of the extra time you've been given to rethink your strategies. You may need to step outside the norm and the mainstream right now to embrace your unique and electric beliefs and attitudes. It's also a good moment to be generous with your time, attention and gifts. This ticking is returned by the universe many fold to you. Um, King of Air, which is the present. Brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. The King of Air. It has a little subheading that says situations. Um, you may receive valuable advice from an intelligent professional. It's important that your decision, decisions be fair and equitable to all involved. Don't hesitate to consult a third party if necessary, um, yet speak your mind with confidence. People. A person who's at the top of his or her field, especially with an intellectual, intellectual area such as law, science or business. Someone who's an excellent speaker and is known for the ability to be objective and diplomatic. Brilliant. Authoritative. Impartial. Professional. Balanced. Motivational. And then we have the Two of Air, um, which says, Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending that there is no problem. Okay. So in the future, if you're struggling with a decision, you have conflicting emotions or thoughts about the way to move, so you're avoiding making a choice. Intu intuitively, you know what to do, but you're afraid to act and are at an impasse. Have faith in your own wisdom and move forward. There's a stalemate between parties. Compromise is called for. Find an impartial mediator to, form, to forge a resolution. I doubt it had a chicken on the front. I said a chick. I doubt it had a baby chick on the front. For fuck's sake. Stop. Just saying. Stop bullying me for my words. That was my third. Okay. I wasn't going to hit you. I was adjusting my beanie. Not. going to hit me. You're bullying me enough to hit me. 
pass first, bitch. I'm gonna cry if death shows up there. <laughs> Don't overbend the cards. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Oh, it's my pet hate! I'm sorry, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Bent! I can't see the co What the fuck is that? <laughs> this is your past, the star. Okay, and your present is. X is 5, right? Yeah, uh, 10. 10. 10 of. Wands. Wands. <laughs> They're sticks, not wands. Sticks. And your future is the lovers. The sixth of lovers. Nice dick, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the chore. Stop neglecting my camera, bitch. Dick. Look at this dick. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> we should have neglected my camera. <laughs> you I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to consent to that somehow. Really? I don't know. I'm just gonna it. Fuck that. I need the ten of wands. Okay. <laughs> Mm. Okay. So, the start keywords include hope, faith, meaning, inspiration, promise, healing, protection, and new horizon. Okay. The star is a welcome symbol of hope, inspiration, and rebirth to the full in the wake of difficulties and uncertainties encountered in the Devil and Tower cards. In this card, we see a star shining brightly in the sky above a beautiful woman who is emptying jugs of water into the stream. It represents feelings being returned to their source. Healing is possible and our sense of well-being is renewed. There is hope for the future and new possibilities are beginning to form. We are ready to give and receive love and the star promises to change for the better. This is a good time to meet new pe people, apply for jobs and aspire towards what is really important to us. The Ten of Wands. Keywords include achievement, attainment of goals, satisfaction, experience gain, rest and regeneration needed. In the Ten of Wands, an old man is reaching his final destination. He is hunched over with the weight of his load. That's not an old man. You have come a long way and are uh, weighed down by the res with the responsibility turning your vision into a reality. Your efforts are about to pay off, but at a cost for you, have, for you have been shaped by bitter experience and have lost the innocence and optimism of your youth. As you reach the end of the cycle, you can find satisfaction in all your achievements so far. You will need to rest and recharge your batteries so that new ideas can form and you can start the process again. This one is for your future. How come I just found the hangman? Can you stop? I feel uncomfortable. The lovers, key words, love, connection, sexual attraction, union of opposites, <clears throat> new possibilities, temptation, and choice. In the card of lovers, we find a naked man and woman standing next to you, and in some versions, embracing ooh, <laughs> each other with the man looking at the woman. Give her some privacy, bitch. <laughs> That's what it says. No. <laughs> the woman is looking up to the sky. Where Cupid is. That's no, that's a scary Cupid. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the card allures, alludes to the first lovers of the Old Testament, Adam and Eve. In, in the Garden of Eden. Thus, along with love, relationship, and the family, the card of the lovers has come to represent temptation and the need to make a choice. At this stage of his journey, the fool finds his match and decides to marry and unite the opposites within. The card suggests that union, that a union is possible and there is hope for a bright future ahead. Why the fuck did you feel uncomfortable reading that? Because I don't like reading sexualized shit. Wow. Yes, that comes you from me. Fan <laughs> <laughs> okay, that... Okay, that concludes this video. Thank you to this person. Even though we're just at school and we don't have to make an effort to see each other. I literally live just across <laughs> there. Like, I live... Four meters that way. Like and subscribe, please. Would be very nice. Yeah. I need more subscribers. I need to beat her. <laughs> I am one lower than her, and she's cranky. <laughs> okay. Bye.